Hi, Joe Hood here with some tips for our CSI imaging users. In this video, I'm going to go over a few tips to most efficiently find images, open images, arrange them on your screen, and then also present them to patients. So the first thing we'll go over is how to find images. To open the imaging history, there are three different ways. The least efficient is to come up here to the file menu and choose this option. That's the least efficient. The most efficient is to either click on this icon or this icon. There's one way to find images. The second way is to use what we call the dental arch tool. So as I hover over these teeth, you'll notice that the tooth number updates. If a tooth is lit up like this, that means that there's at least one image with that tooth number assigned to it. If not all teeth are lit up, the dental arch tool would look like this. Okay, so let's click on, say, number three. These are all the teeth in this database that are assigned to tooth number three. And obviously, it, some of these images aren't for tooth number three. This is a demonstrational database. But so that's a second way to open up images. A third way is to choose one of these three letters. P for pans, F for formats, C for Ceph. For the P and the C to work, it would have to be a Carestream branded PAN or pan Ceph. So that's three different ways to find images. Okay, now let's talk about opening images. When you have your imaging history open, it's just a matter of a left click to select an image. And you can do this randomly. So you can cruise through your database and find the images that you want to open. You can do it in different sections. You can even do it in different tabs. And the last image that you find, you do not have to come over to the OK button. You just double click on the image. And we'll open all of those images. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is arranging them. Because if you're a CSI user, you're accustomed to seeing your images overlap like this. So it's great flexibility with our software to open up images from different dates. Sometimes it's a little annoying to have them overlap like this. Most of my clients are doing this dance where they're moving images and resizing them so they're not overlapped. The easiest way to address this is to come up to your window menu and choose this feature for rearrange screen. What that does is it rearranges all the images, it resizes them so they're as large as they can be without overlapping. The next thing we'll talk about is laying them in a fashion that makes it easy to present to your patients. So everybody likes to tell a story a little different way. You know, you're telling your story of your treatment plan. And let's say you want your images laid out like this. Okay, so we can actually save this as what we call a context. You come up here to your context menu and choose save context and give it a name. So I'm going to give it a case presentation context name and we save it so now what that did was that just saved a reference of these images laid out in this way as a context it did not duplicate the file sizes or your memory at all it just referenced what's on the screen so the next tip i'm going to give you is how to efficiently clear the screen you come back up to the window menu you choose clear screen. Now everything's gone. Now coming back to the context tip, you come back to your imaging history, and this context tab that you've probably been ignoring is helpful because you can choose this context that we just created. And with a single click, it opens back up. So you could create this context in your private office and with a single click, open it in front of your patient. I hope you find this video helpful.